What's good everybody? I'm going to show you how we make our water here. Since the water that's in our town has got a really kind of a yuck taste to it, it's almost like a bleach. And I don't really like drinking it out of the tap, which there's water out of the tap, y'all. It's in a glass pitcher. We have this thing here. This is called a midi water distiller. And it has just a few little things on here. It's got an on-off timer. It also has a little switch here for fan. It's got an overheat switch. And it has a drain. Which we put this little cup right here underneath it because this doesn't quite keep it from coming out. It's tight. And then up top here, it has inside here a coil. You can kind of see it in there. See that, guys? And there's a fan right down there in the middle. Watch, I'll turn this on. You'll see it come on. See that? And then it has a reservoir, which will open up. And it's sealed here with a rubber seal right here. Inside here, guys, there is a heating element. And it says... Caution, surface of this machine becomes hot during operation. So what we do is we take this water here. Oh, it's kind of heavy, y'all. And we'll pour it in the reservoir. And this will hold more water than our container will. It takes approximately three of these to fill the machine's reservoir up. And then I have an empty container there. And I also have another one right here, which you can use milk jugs, juice jugs, whatever. As long as you rinse them out really good after you're done with whatever they were in them before. Pour all that water right in there. We want to pour this all the way up. See that little tad thing sticking down there? I'll show you. It's right here. That's your measure. And we use that so you don't overfill the reservoir because if you put it too far up, it'll boil over and it will cause the machine to overheat. As long as you fill it to that point, there will be enough room because what's going to happen is this is going to get so hot, it's going to vaporize the water. And then the water will exit the reservoir through the tubes that are in here. And it goes around in a circle about two times there. And uh, then it exits the machine right here. And I'll show this here. We're going to go through this process here and then we'll start the machine up. And then I'll do a couple shoots of it after it's rolling and let you see. I have made a prior video of this, but I did not get into detail like I am right now. And I thought maybe it would be a good idea to better explain this so that everybody has a little bit better understanding. You know, the water that comes out of the tap here is safe to drink. And we do drink it when we mix it with coffee or Kool-Aid or with concentrate drinks there. Okay, so now we've done that. And I always push the machine back just a little bit. You know, turn it there just like that. And you want your tube to go in there. So now the reservoir is full. We'll close it and you gotta make sure it's centered on the o-ring there so that it doesn't seep out. Because if it's not centered, the water will seep out and it'll go everywhere. It'll make a huge mess. Alright, so the reservoir is full. We have our catch container in place. And now we'll start the machine. And what we do is we turn it all the way over to on. Just like that. The fan comes on automatically. Well, we'll turn the fan off. We don't want the fan on until it gets up to temp and it'll start coming out here as a vapor. Once it does that, then we'll turn the fan on and it will fill on its own. And once it's filled that container, the machine will stop on its own. And then we'll dump it into these containers and put it in the fridge. And that's how we get our purified water distilled here, you guys. And it's a real easy process. These machines are not very expensive. Uh, this one here, I think, was about a range of about two, three hundred dollars. 
but it was worth every penny. Uh, my dad had this out at the farm where they lived because the well water had a lot of manganese in it and a lot of iron and it was it almost had like a red uh, tint to the water which you don't want to drink that kind of stuff and it smelled like bad gas like eggs rotten. There is y'all. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.